listen to this carefully this next clip people you have to listen very carefully stop talking to whoever next to you listen to this and see what got past the journalists who sitting down there run it as prime minister as leader of the pnm i have nobody whose interests i am to protect that will cause me to be afraid of the office of the dpp that problem lies with the leader of the unc because every time they see a motor car passing with a blue light flashing or they hear somebody say good morning and knock on the door, they think it's the police. We don't have that problem in the PLM. And what they're trying to do is to prevent the government from going after white collar crime. They believe that if they create enough manima, make enough allegations, that the government will back away from what we are engaged in, which is the commitment to pursue white-collar crime in Trinidad and Tobago. I can tell you this evening, the government remains unshaken. We will continue where there's evidence, where there's ba a basis for investigation, we will investigate. Really, Rowley? You the government? Where is basis for investigation? You will investigate. Read a book. Read political science. Read separation of powers. Your job as executive is not to investigate anything. They have independent institutions to do that. You have an independent commissioner of police. Supposed to have an independent Trinidad and Tobago police service. An independent DPP's office. You, you all hear Rowdy say that his government will investigate and they will continue to investigate and they will pursue investigation hey that is not his job the first tenet of investigation is you must not have any case to grind or acts to grind you must not because power investigation must find truth justice must be blind and balanced and you must search for fact and then fact must be put before the law and then those who are guilty will pay this man this miscreant this political partisan numbskull just confessed to the whole country that he investigated and his government investigated and they will continue so to do to pursue investigation that in itself coupled with the indemnity signed by his government his cabinet the money approved by his cabinet his government to pay and to bribe and to uh, incentivize our potential witness in a criminal matter is illegal and is witness tampering a criminal act perverting the course of justice misbehavior in public office all criminal acts and he talking about unc when they see up blue lights the unc what about camille and she won 46 143 thousand what about cummings and he two account venture credit union and the, pro and the production orders that were served and venture credit union taking money from mts rowley girl who released it and it end up in foster cummings account where that investigation what about the land with foster cummings what about the investigation into Farris 2 Porsche? What about the investigations into Rowley and your Inez Gate and your Integrity in Public Life Act forms that you did not fill out? What about the investigation into Rowley's actions on August 12, 2021, when he went to President's house and, and made Paula Mayweeks a public official, misbehave in public office and, and ignore Section 123.4 of the Constitution and allowed Bliss C. Passat to withdraw a list that she could not that was approved by the majority of the police service commission what about the investigations into that you don't like special branch you talking about the unc yeah. but that the prime minister of trinidad and tobago especially when his the post is held by me but in the constitution it is also the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago has no involvement and no role in the prosecution of any person in this country. So those who are asking where is the Prime Minister, 
in the matter to do with the DPP's action and the Vincent Nelson matter, the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago has nothing to do with the prosecutional processes against any person in this country. So stop asking for me. And as for the cabinet, we're not running a parlor, you know. We are running a cabinet. And matters come to the cabinet in a particular way. What matter has to come to the cabinet for the cabinet to determine if a person has a deal to turn state witness? What the hell does that do to the cabinet? That is a matter for the state's legal department, fully staffed by lawyers, headed by an attorney general, the DPP, and the courts. So why is the UNC, and I want to say it to the media too, why are you all asking? You, you, you know something else. But you see, when Mrs. Postal starts her stupidness, the echo chamber is the media. Instead of asking, what, what, what does the cabinet have to do with that? What does the prime minister have to do with that? Well, we know you love Faris, right? But I'm saying that it's time we get serious on serious business. And of course, you know the big thing? You know the, some lawyer, some lawyer, a senior counsel from the United Kingdom, come to the Trinidad court, present evidence that what he did, plead guilty, was convicted, was fined $2.2 million, agreed to turn state witness to talk about his friend who involved. But the opposition leader's big point yesterday is that he, that gentleman, is claiming $150 million of in damages, of course, yes. I'm sorry, he could have claimed 200. I want you to understand that every word out of that man's mouth, while he's carrying on like this and that and this and that, is an absolute total lie. Think about it, you know, look left at your husband or your wife, your children. Look at the normal people around you. And understand that what you just saw, every word out of that man's mouth was a lie. He knew he was lying. He was lying with passion. Pretending to be talking. Think about how sick that man has to be. Put up the indemnity, you know. Put back up the indemnity. This is an indemnity agreement. Negotiated, signed, and delivered by his cabinet, his attorney general. Including... Payments in excess of 20 to 30 million dollars, which require, hear what he said, the cabinet have a process, you know. We're not running a parlor. Exactly. And the cabinet has to approve any payment above a million dollars. A permanent secretary cannot release or get released from the Ministry of Finance and do a check with any worth whatsoever if they do unless they want to end up in jail for above a million dollars the nine hundred and ninety nine thousand dollar limit so the cabinet he's saying what that have to do with the cabinet look at this this entire document go to the signature please actually show the people this negotiation this document signed on behalf of the government signed on behalf of the cabinet signed on behalf of the state signed on behalf of the prime minister by his attorney general faris al rawi that is what we're talking about you see when the dogla talk when the unc talk when kamla talk we provide evidence not just get up there and talk and talk the man is so sick but you see he's convinced himself 
He didn't lie so much that he believed that. 